What you guys got another video here for you on how to turn an old PC into an Android PC. Now if you've got an old PC like one of these Dell Optiplexes or an old laptop lying around and you've got a USB flash drive you can download the Android 9 Pi and install it on one of these devices. You can even install it onto a virtual machine if you wish. Either way, you can use this method that I'm going to show you here to get it installed and uh, you'll be able to use it. Now, if you want to download it, you're going to have to head over to android-x86.org and you'll be able to download it uh, from there. Now, you can either download the very latest uh, big download by hitting that top download button there, or you can go down the pecking order and pick one of the older versions. I'm going to pick the Android uh, 9.0 R2 version but if you want to do the R3 you can do just hit that download button there or you can come down and download one of the older versions so let's go ahead and click on the link there and this will give us the option to go and find a place where we can download it so we're going to be going to fosshub.com and we're going to download it from there now you can just use the uh, download link here for the ISO file I'm going to be downloading this version here which is the Android 9.0 Pi and this is also the R2 version so we're going to download this one here so once that's downloaded we'll be able to use Rufus to put it onto our USB flash drive you can use Etcher or whatever program you like to uh, use to create your bootable USB flash drives I've already got this installed but if you want to download the portable version you can do which means you don't have to install it you can hit this Rufus uh, portable version here and let that download so I'll just let Android finish downloading and then we can go ahead and create our bootable media. So let's go ahead and open up Rufus here and Rufus will open up. And what we can do here is make sure we've got our USB flash drive selected. It has got mini Windows 10 on there at the moment, but that will be wiped. So then we can select our ISO image, which is our Android ISO image. And you can leave this as MBR, uh, BIOS or UEFI. And can let that set like so and then from here uh, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next stage which is going down for the volume label I'm going to leave this as is but you can change that volume label if you wish and leave it as large fat 32 and then we can then click on start you'll get this image uses uh, sys Linux and you can say yes here and then once you've done that you will get another one popping up saying write ISO image mode recommended we're going to say OK here and this will let us write this it will then also warn us about the data is going to be erased on that USB flash drive I'm going to click OK and let that then create our bootable media with our Android 9.0 Pi on there so this does take a bit of time so just be patient and let it copy all the files over from the ISO and create our bootable media and then we can plug this into a device of our choice and then go ahead and install it I'll show you how to install it it's pretty straightforward and easy to do but there's a little tricky bit at the end which I'll show you how to get around and uh, we can get this up and running on any device or any um, virtual machine that you want to install it onto so you'd use this method for any of these uh, versions okay and then make sure you select uh, that drive as your main drive and you will automatically boot straight up so that's now copied all of those files across just a little bit to go here and then we can continue with the installation there we go we're all ready so we can now close this off and we can move on to the next stage of the installation so we're going to go ahead and put a USB flash drive into our device and now you get a couple of options we're going to come down to installation dash install android dash x86 uh, to the hard disk that's the version we're going to do now if you want to boot up to a live cd of this without installing you can do but we're just going to go straight forward and go for the installation process here you'll see a bunch of stuff coming up now you need to click on c uh, to create and modify partitions and click ok on the keyboard now we don't want to do a GPT so just say no and here we need to then create our new partition here so go to where it says help down the bottom use your arrow keys and click new and click on new and enter primary we need to enter a new primary partition and from here we can click the uh, bootable now we need to make this bootable so when you push on bootable you want to make sure it says boot flags up the top here if it doesn't say boot there then it's not a bootable uh, drive so you need to make that bootable 
then we're going to come down to where it says uh, right so use your arrow keys and navigate all the way down to right and click enter and it will say you sure you want to do this say yes type yes in and push enter and it will say this may destroy data on your disk well we've got no data on there because we want to install uh, Android so let's go ahead and do this so I'm going to push enter here once we've done that we can then uh, quit out of this so we need to go all the way over to quit and push quit push enter now you should see SDA 1 or your hard drive there and it will say unknown mine's on a v virtual machine here but yours will be on a laptop so just select that version and click OK next once we've done that we need to choose our file system which is going to be ext4 so push ext4 and push yes here so we're going to go yes and this will start formatting that partition for us then we want to install the bootloader grub yes and then we want to yes for this one as well which is installing the system file directory on there as well and let that now install onto that partition that we've just created back then so let's go ahead and let that install shouldn't take too long and we've now started to get near the end of the installation as you can see here very quick and fast to set up now once we've done this we can move on to the next stage which is reboot so you want to select reboot here uh, don't run Android x86 because you'll get a blue screen so just make sure you click on reboot the system okay and remove the flash drive now we need to make a small edit here so push E now just push E again to edit the kernel and now we can use the arrow keys to navigate back because we need to delete part of this here or edit part of this by removing the word quiet and once we've done this we can add in another word which is called node mode set uh, x false versa and put that in there and once we've done that we can then push enter so I'm just going to type this out quickly here and you can see this is editing the uh, grub here so this should be fine once we've done this so just type it out as you see me doing here and then push enter so I've added that in and now push enter once we've got that in and then B to enter the boot so push B and it will start to load up our Android here so there we go that's now loading in our Android and once this is done we should be able to uh, get to the Android desktop here so give it time because it needs to prepare our uh, build here so let it just do its thing it will take a bit of time and there we go we are now at the hi there screen we can now click on start and you can set up your Wi-Fi here if you wish I'm gonna skip all this I'm gonna continue and from there what we're going to do is just let it finish off here you can set your daytime and your date and all that stuff go next and of course Google services use your location I'm going to turn those off for now and go more and we can now send use or data back to them I'm going to say no and from here you can protect your tablet if you want to I'm going to say not now because really I don't need to do that because I'm going to skip anyway and this will start to finish this off so you can go to the taskbar or take a quick step here it's up to you I'm just going to do taskbar just once and there we go and that's it you basically got that installed on the system here so once you're there you can now go ahead and set up your operating system like you would with any other operating system you can download apps from the Google Play Store you can do pretty much whatever you like it just acts exactly like it would do on any other device so whether you've got this installed on an old uh, Dell Optiplex or whether you've got it installed on an old laptop or you're on a virtual machine that's basically how you would get that set up and running very simple and easy to do let me know in the comments section below if you've give this a go yourself and what sort of experiences you've had with it so I can tell whether it's worth continuing with these particular types of videos so I used to do these a long time ago but I stopped doing them but if people enjoy them then I'll continue making them
And remember guys, if you've got any video suggestions or any problems with your computers, you can always head over to our Discord section. There's an area in there where you can put your video requests and also ask for some PC help there. We've got a ticket system working now on there, which seems to be working pretty well. So pop over there, it's free to join and join in the fun. I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great weekend guys and I shall see you again real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and then hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.